very quiet. Where is everybody? Huh? Chup chup! Where are you? Mm. A thunderbird egg. Oh, there you are, Holly. Were you having a little snooze, were you? Mm. Mm. I was still hoping Thunderbird would get broody. It usually lays, what, last time seven eggs? And then she was broody, but she's only got two days to go. Jerry. Mm. Mm, we doubt it's going to happen. Especially if you think you're a cockerel. And she's been attacking Ivy. I'm going to have to tell you off again, aren't I? Yeah, she is. Hello, Polly. Yeah. Well, I've been told. That if we got a broody hen, which we've been thinking about, that they don't accept other chicks. So our best chance is the brooder. Okay, it's time to set up the brooder. Right, what we get is this and instructions wherever they've gone. I'll give that. And this, which I have a set up. I don't know how to figure it out. What you do is it comes with them like that, and then you have to push that. You have to push that in to line it up before you can put the leg in. Okay. And insert that to number one and then just slots in. Well, the other one clicked, but that one doesn't want to click. I must have got it in the right place. So and then we're going to put it in here, which it fits quite nicely. Should be able to get some um, feeding things and plug it in, see if it works. Okay. Lights come on, so we'll see that if that works. Now I've measured it, and the instruction says five cent says three centimeters and that's five so i'm allowing a bit for the what's this called wood shavings in the bottom but i won't put that in for now because i think it's pretty well a fire hazard myself but i don't know how hot it gets so i'll just leave it there for an hour and see what happens see how hot it gets well that's quite a good size that's um comes up to my knee almost, so I really shouldn't be able to jump out of that. That was a toy box. Uh, let's see if the food fits in there. Oh, a bit tight. It sort of does. I think we just have a little bit of a tiny water one then. Okay, maybe I need smaller ones. Looks like it's fashion, but it's not. That one won't fit in. It's probably too big anyway. Okay, and I've got the chick crumb ready to go. Right, how are we doing? Yeah, just a little bit of warmth, not too much. You can touch the top. Like a little radiator. You can touch the top, but you don't want to leave your finger on it too long. Hmm, thinking of that. And even that for the food as well, probably. To make them. If you've got a little bit more room in there. Um, I don't know. Something over it, or put something in it so they don't end up in it. Um, ah, that's how hot it is, 26.4, degrees humidity, so I'll check the, if that's right. The other thing that's confusing me as well is how tall is a chick? It's 
five centimeters set at the moment on number one. I think it wants to be two or three centimeters bigger, taller than the chick. So I'm going to have to measure the chick, I suppose, if we have one, or two, or three. I just don't know. All you can do is hope. And I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. Right, all ready to go. Day 19.